Mike's mom is out of her mind. Y'all, 90 Fiance was just on. We got to see Mike and Natalie completely tear down. They are still in Oklahoma for the Thanksgiving trip. They went to go see Mike's mom, Trish. And yeah, everything was a complete total disaster. The trip was god awful. And honestly, if I'm being honest, their Thanksgiving food didn't look very good. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, they went there. Trish and Natalie got into about 100 not big fights. They, they, were, they were minor little fights. I feel like they kind of added and added and added. And yeah, finally, everything just overflowed. They, you know, finally, you know, Natalie just said, listen, Trish, I talked to my mother and my mother said, because of the things you have done to me and the things you have said to me, I am not supposed to talk to you anymore. And she said it like she was like a three-year-old. Here's the thing. I'm going to say one thing. Trish, Mike's mom, is out of her mind. More on that in a second. Natalie is a complete babbling idiot. If you like her, I'm sorry. I really do apologize, Natalie. You're an idiot, though. I'm sorry. So am I. We all kind of are. Natalie actually, she's a two-year-old. I'll explain that in a second. Here's what happened, really. Natalie said that she talked to her mom. Her mom said, I can't ever talk to you again. Natalie walked out the door, and Trish sat there like she just saw a ghost, keep in mind, and just said, what did I do? Oh, Okay, really, Trish, need I remind you? Remember in April when you called not only Tamara, Mike's neighbor, but also Uncle Bo to, uh, you know, stop their wedding? Number one. Number two, you are begging her to have kids. Number three, you're trying to get her to switch jobs. Number four, you're incredibly just rude in general. I mean, you're just a very, 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 very rude. She is kind of sarcastic, I will say, but she is still just rude. It's clear. We See, here's the thing. We could debate all day long that she's just kind of sarcastic and funny, but her trying to get Tamara and Uncle Bo to object, literally object and stop the wedding of Nat Natalie and Mike, that right there just goes to show she doesn't like Natalie. So Natalie knows all of this stuff. It's very awkward. But Trish was still like, what did I do? What did I say? Oh, okay, come on. So Natalie runs in the car. She hides in the car. Mike runs after her. So does Trish. Mike was Mike was getting real vocal. He was just like, you tell, and th th this is the kind of thing. You know, it, what it, my problem with this whole thing is Natalie, if you you have an issue. You should stand on your own two feet in front of Mike and his mom, Trish, his crazy mom, and say, hey, this is what you, you did this, 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 and this. It hurt my feelings. I am offended, and that's why I don't want to talk to you. That would be the mature thing to do. But instead, she just says, I'm too high for, I'm, you know, I'm too good. It's like, oh my God, Natalie. Here we go, Natalie, acting like she's all fancy again. This is just ridiculous. So then, of course, Natalie, she would never tell her exactly what she did, and they were begging and begging and begging. Finally, Mike and Trish, boom, they slammed the door, and Trish said something that was just so hilarious. This is why I can't stand Trish. Trish said, Mike, give her $5,000 and send her back to Ukraine. And it's like, you know what, Trish? If you wanted the best for your son, if you were even a relatively nice person, if you weren't such a control freak, you would just say, Mike and Natalie, go to therapy, work out your day. Or may maybe not. I don't know. I just feel like Trish only sees one solution to this whole marriage. Divorce, 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 divorce. And it's like, you know what? You can make marriages work. They could have made it work. But everything she says, she didn't even want them to get married. It's like everything she says is always just get a freaking divorce. And to me, it's like I feel like Trish has just been trying to push off Natalie this entire freaking weekend. She's not giving her any other option. And she's just trying to make her so mad. So this would happen. And look, it happened. Mike was irate. Mike was super upset. They ended up going to the airport. It was awkward. Trish is just being, I just cannot stand her. And I, I don't like Natalie either, but it's like Trish is being way worse. So that's my thought. If you like Trish, and if you are Trish, I'm sorry, but yeah, I don't know. They go to the airport. Natalie was being an immature idiot. She wouldn't talk to them. She was just ignoring them. She was like standing like 20 feet behind them. It was really stupid and awkward and weird. They get to the airport. They still wouldn't talk. Mike said bye to his mom, and Natalie never said bye to Trish. So we do now know, though, about a month after this scene happens, Natalie ends up leaving. She goes to that one place that I am totally blanking on the name called Seattle. There it is. It's called Seattle. And she goes to Seattle and she never, ever, 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 ever comes back. And remember how I said Natalie is childish? Well, we now found out thanks to Tamara that actually Natalie went to Seattle, but she told Mike that I'm going to go to the casino with our neighbor Tamara. And come to find out, Tamara was like, I'm not at the casino. So she's that immature and that super where she has to actually lie to Mike about where she's going when she's leaving. It's like, if you want to leave a guy, just tell him, be straight up, be honest. Don't just lie behind his back. Comment below what you guys think. I'm kind of just like, ugh, I'm, mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Trish, she crossed some lines, y'all. You can't, you just you can't do, and don't get me wrong, 
It's just such, it's, it's just, it's a lose-lose situation. No one can win in this situation. Natalie wants to be right. Natalie wants to live her life. Natalie wants to apparently be an actress. I never knew that. Natalie's also out of her mind crazy. Remember when she was laughing in the last episode like a freaking psycho? Yeah, she's crazy. Trish is a control freak. She's rude. She's passive aggressive. She's just not nice to anyone besides, well, She's nice to some people, just not really Natalie. So it's just my, it's my whole point. It's a lose-lose situation. They're never going to be happy. They will never, ever, ever get along. And that is just that. And I stand here and I'm just like, why did, you know, it's just like, dude, why does Trish hate Natalie so much? That's what I want to know. But comment below what you guys think. I think it's just a complete disaster. And I mean, the good thing that we now know, though, is that their relationship is coming to an end. And, I mean, look, Mike literally did just say at the end of the episode, he even word for word said, you know, and, and oh, oh, makes me so mad because Trish said it too. Trish was saying, Mike, I think you have some thinking to do. And it's like, oh my God. Here we go, her trying to get her son to get a divorce. Divorce is never good. Should Mike and Natalie be married? I don't know, probably not, but it is like, wouldn't we all want them to at least try, make a, give it a real attempt to make it work? All they do is fight. They've never even tried to kind of work out their differences. They have horrible communication. Wouldn't you want to give it a fair shot? But Trish, after Mike left, she goes, I think he has some, you know, big decisions to make, which obviously she's referring to divorce. And Mike even said it right after. He's like, I have some decisions to make and whatnot. The funny thing is, Natalie did actually end up leaving Mike. It was not Mike leaving Natalie. It was Natalie left Mike. Kind of hilarious, kind of karma. I, but whatever, I don't care. I just think this is so stupid, so ridiculous. And these two, it's like Mike, I mean, imagine if, if you love your mom. Mike loves his mother. He loves her with all his heart. And it's like, if someone you love and you look up to is really gonna come to you and say you should divorce this person, it's a pretty good chance you're definitely gonna consider it. So I don't wanna say that the whole divorce and Mike and Natalie splitting up is Trish's fault. It's not. Natalie's not perfect, neither is Mike. They're not the best couple, but could they have tried to make it work and give it a longer shot? Absolutely. And do I think that Trish totally just expedited this whole entire marriage and divorce? Absolutely. freaking lutely So, Trish, not cool. You are kind of out of your mind and kind of crazy, but I am curious, actually, if anyone, literally anyone, one person that watches my videos or this channel um, likes Trish. So comment below if you are a fan of Trish or not, but yeah, y'all, not your day I'd say crazy Mike and Natalie, and yes, they're gonna be getting a divorce very, very, very soon. We all thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button in the comments below, and y'all better stay tuned for many more.